Survivor of the Fittest, Darwin didn't even say that. That was a, it was the philosopher, um, oh, I can't remember, Herbert something or another. Huxley. He came up with that. And, yeah. and he and it was and Darwin included it under duress in the fifth edition of Orin, the, on the origin of species. And it's an incredibly misleading phrase because yeah. what it makes everybody think is that evolution is striving for perfection. And that also gives this idea that we're sort of, you know, we're at the top of the evolutionary tree and everything's sort of like striving towards this, this struggle and this for, for, for existence and this sort of fight for life. But mm. but actually. Evolution is just a series of botch jobs of, of what works in that moment. Do you know what I mean? And I just think it's it, that that in itself is really misleading. Mm. And it leads to sort of Putinism, arguably. Now, yeah, well, so, so then you see, then we all want to be, I just think the world yeah. needs to be a lot more bonobo right now because the bonobo is our closest um, ape relative. It's as close as the chimpanzee. I, mean, I don't know if everybody here has heard about bonobos, but they're pygmy chimpanzee um, and they are equally close, related, closely related to us. And this is a great example, right, of what I'm talking about in the book. Yeah. So for a long time, chimpanzees were used as the model for, for human ancestry, you know, because, because we saw, you know, they're, they're most closely related to us and they're patriarchal society, really sort of quite sort of um, warlike as well. So the males fight for the top position and then the males are very, very territorial and so they'll sort of patrol and if they come across another, you know, a rival gang, then they'll fight with them. And, you know, so it's, it, you know, and, and actually when primatology first came into existence, it was after the Second World War and, you know, we were, as humans, we were really obsessed with, with our warlike nature and where this had come from. So this idea that we were like, based on, first of all, the, 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 the model was baboons and then we discovered chimpanzees and our close relatedness to them, it became chimpanzees. So that's been like, it, and then that, then that sets this narrative that we're sort yeah. of patriarchy is burnt into our DNA and there is no other way. But of course, that's absolutely not true. Because if you look at, first of all, in primates in general, there's, there's a huge amount of female dominance or co-dominance. It's by no means patriarchy is not the patriarchal patriarchal systems are not the norm by any means but then when you look at the bonobos who are the pygmy chimpanzees their society is incredibly peaceful in fact they've been called the make love not war hippie ape because basically they have a lot of sex and so they they resolve problems that they, they, well, they, 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 they their, their society is harmonious because they don't tend to fight they tend to fucking set <laughs> and um and and there's and and in particular, what's fascinating about it is females are dominant over males. So it's an alpha female. It's a the female is is in charge, and the females are unrelated to one another. And they sort of in normal circumstances, when you have females together that are unrelated, they may well be competitive with each other, and so they might not form bonds. But with the bonobos, they they have what's they they do a lot of what's called gg rubbing which is this sort of genital genital rubbing and that is how they sort of they, they get to know one another and then the oxytocin from that makes everybody you know get on well and so basically they they they've managed to overthrow the patriarchy through ecstatic same sex frottage which you know <laughs> there's a lesson in there right now i mean you know, <laughs> sisters what are we waiting for you know but what that sort of says is that so, because what's interesting is with the pig, because they're the, like chimpanzees, the females are smaller than the males, but yet they dominate the males. And you particularly see this at, at, at meal times, where when chimpanzees eat, the males eat first, and the females are sort of, sort of cowering slightly in the background, waiting for the males to finish. But with bonobos, the females eat first, and then they'll negotiate. You know, males can come up and eat. People can sort of the other, sorry, other other bonobos can come and eat, and they'll might exchange food for sex and you know, they're all just sort of getting on with each other. And, um, you know, it just goes to show the power of the sisterhood, really, you know, and that you can, you know, by, by uniting, it's a different system. You know, it doesn't, you don't have to sort of be dominated by, you know, dick swinging males. 